Right. So in this lesson, I'm going to basically talk about double arpeggios or yeah, double arpeggios. Double meaning you're going to do different arpeggios in both hands and then somehow figure out a way to make it a melodic in nature, if that's even possible. And we are going to use our friendly cadence as we've been doing for this entire lesson series, the Andalusian cadence, which is the D minor, C major, B flat major, A, which is the one minor, the seven flat major, six flat major, and the five. So, here's where you start. Start with an arpeggio in the left hand, which is slow. So, you could do either L, M, H, M, or L, H, M, H. What you want to do is to hold that L, sustain the L. So, L, M, H, M, L, M, H, M, L, M, H, M, L. Hold the L. L, H, M, H. So, this is the core of the job. Hold the root of the chord. Now, the right hand looks at the left hand and says, I want to play something different. I don't want to play exactly a copy. You know, sounds good. It's like the right hand stole from the left hand, which the right hand now doesn't want to do, or the left hand gets angry with it. <clears throat> yeah, so let the right hand think of something which contrasts the left hand. What could that be? The right hand could play faster. Maybe play. There we go. It's the same pattern, but the right hand plays it double speed. What if the right hand does a completely different pattern altogether? Maybe high, low, middle, low could work. So it's high, low, middle, low in the right hand at 2x speed and low, high, middle, high at 1x speed in the left hand. So there we go. So now the probability of two notes colliding or being the same see is almost zero isn't it see the notes are never meeting also the arpeggios are completely different so h l m l h and l h m h in the bass so maybe don't do L M H M, then they will clash. So do L H M H in the bass and high, low, middle, low in the right. This is one of my secret arpeggios which I use in a lot of my music. Now check this out. Instead of doing tan 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 tan, why not add another chord tone, maybe the D, and swap out the A for the D if you can. Remember, it's still a 2x arpeggio. 2x here and 1 here. Can you not hear that melody? it for the other chord. Maybe if, why play the same uh, inversion? Play a new inversion. Now you see what's happening, right? That absolute contrast is created. New, in unique inversion, different speeds, and what else? Different uh, alignment of the pattern it's, itself. So different speed, different pattern, and now different inversion. So 
it's going to sound really really interesting it's almost like two people playing the piano you know sort of reminds me like uh, like the mr bean background score right you should check that out the mr bean background score has a lot of these sort of chaotic arpeggios or Mm, off the top, maybe even the themes from uh, Edward Scissorhands, uh, an amazing Johnny Depp movie from way back in the day with Danny Elfman, the composer. So the, these are some places where I've heard that, uh, you know, uh, that aggressive piano. And I've always wondered, maybe it's, uh, you know, three guys playing. You know, as a kid, I used to think that maybe it was at least a couple of them playing. Who knows with the world of recording. But it could have even been one. You know, it's possibly one. So, so this arpeggio going on here and the double speed of that going on there. You may argue, why can't I do the double here and the single there? Well, it's not so common. So do the double in the right and do the single in the left. And if you want, build your melody. Let the melody grow a bit more. Like... Just see what you can do with the top two fingers and not leave the arpeggios of either hand, at least the left hand. So you can add that C a couple more times. Sometimes you could just kind of go away from the arpeggio and just do like a lick. that flourish at the end. Just like a drummer does a drum roll. Right guys, so this was like I guess a bit more advanced of an arpeggio you could call it double speed arpeggio I hope you found all the arpeggio discussions useful over this uh, really inspiring Andalusian cadence and now onward moving forward to some really really interesting stuff which I've come up using this cadence there are a lot of patterns waiting for you so do stay tuned moving forward <laughs>